Yeah, just trying to put everything in, get it cooking. Don't want to serve anything raw. I was ready, I mean, ready to like walk out. I was ready to walk out, literally, but... Today's challenge is a pressure test. You will each have to recreate one of these three dishes. You will get to taste the dish and receive a recipe, listing ingredients, but with limited instruction and measurement. So I hope you're ready, because your time starts now. Woo! Good luck, everybody. Good luck. I overpassed my cheese, and now it's just turned into mush. Working with an incomplete recipe is like working with one hand tied behind your back. You don't really know what it's supposed to be like. I'm about to just take my dust press off, because this is my first time cooking duck. I pour my alcohol. Whoosh. It was flames, and then a bit of my hair went with it. Um, so interesting. <laughs> Won't be doing that again. Get that flame now. <laughs> flame is much bigger than expected, but I guess I had to come and bring the heat. I'm wearing red. It makes it makes all the sense. I just hope that I can get my equipment going right because I've never used a pressure cooker. And yeah, that I think the word pressure cooker put me into the pressure cooking pot. <laughs> I'm, I'm not familiar with the equipment. If you don't get the broths right, obviously the dish is going to be affected. I don't even know how this thing works. So yeah, I'm, I'm the last person you should ask about. <laughs> I just opened the other pressure cooker and saw that the beef stock did, wasn't cooked at all. So it's not going to be perfect every time. And, you, know, you have to expect it and, and learn from it. Trying to get something done. I'm going to just have to have a chicken broth only. At that moment, you feel like, you know what, I actually can't cook. <laughs> you really feel like that, you know, like. Maybe I'm not supposed to be here. But then I don't, I don't want to give up also because I know my daughter's watching me and I don't want her to give up. So even if I put something out there. I can breathe a bit. I'm getting something done. So. Yeah, just trying to put everything in, get it cooking. Don't want to serve anything raw. I was ready, I mean, ready to like walk out. I was ready to walk out, literally, but it's about not giving up. No, what? No, because my pressure cooker's malfunctioned, uh, and I'm way behind. I'm never going to make it. Never pressure cooked. Everything rides on this broth, and now both pressure cookers have malfunctioned, and I don't know what to do. There is absolutely no way to rectify this, unfortunately. Uh, it is what it is. There's a lot of blame happening on the, um, on the pressure cooker. cookers. Mm. The truth is, we're not trying to catch them out. We gave them enough time. Yeah. If you just didn't open your pressure cooker every five minutes, yes, it and what doesn't fine. really help, does it? No. Yeah. yeah, no, no. To be honest, you just put all the ingredients, you close the lid, and you leave it for away. half an hour or 45 minutes. It's going to be more than enough to extract Absolutely. all the flavor. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Sola's grandmother is definitely not happy with what I'm doing right now. I am so sorry. My heat was too high, my cheese wasn't firm enough, and it just burst and started exploding. You know where? There's a lot of things missing on my plate at this point, and um, yeah, I'm bummed out, man. I'm just worried about the chutney. I, I'm, I'm hoping I'm safe. This is completely out of my hands. 
And the clock says... Ten, ten nine, nine, eight, seven, six, six five, five, four, three, two, one. one. That's okay. it! Off the benches! <laughs> Quite, quite uh, unhappy at the fact that both my pressure cookers didn't work twice, which meant that I felt behind with my dough, which meant I felt behind with my egg, which meant I couldn't put a dish up. I'm definitely going home today, um, and I'm gutted. I'm not very pleased with it. Um, I got something on the plate, but not what I wanted. Mercedes. So, Masledi? Yes. How did it go? Oh, man, this really was a pressure test. And, yeah, I felt the pressure, hey? In a kitchen, time is always against you. Whatever you do, you will never beat time. So if you organize yourself properly, you can deliver the dish. If you change the order of the recipe, you will never beat time. Well, Masedi, I'm glad that you took the time to redo another duck breast. You render it nicely. Your sauce got like all the favor profile. Unfortunately, it's a bit unbalanced. You over reduced a bit. And the flapjacks, unfortunately, were like very flat. So thank you. Thank you, Masedi. Tasneem, come forward. I tried to put something there. Obviously, it's not, not to that level that I wanted but I hope it's, they can see something in it. How do you think it went? Terrible. <laughs> Terrible? Yeah. Literally fell apart, and I was ready to like throw in the towel, but along the way, I just said, you know what, I have to put something on there and give you something. I know it's not the best, and I'm really sorry. I'm disappointed, very disappointed. Why don't you let us be the judge of that before you make your own judgment? I, it's, it's really not what I wanted to put in front of you, and I mean no disrespect at all, but... Let's give it a whirl. I like the fact that you delivered us something and you didn't quit. That's a very important thing that I look in any chef. And the thing about your own conclusions, is that they're entirely wrong. Why don't you try believing in yourself a little bit more? It's beautiful. It's got flavor, it's got balance, there's a beautiful chili, I can taste ginger. I can get a whole lot of soul. Start trusting a little bit more. The man in the pink shirt, Muhammad. I feel angry and I feel embarrassed to allow chefs of that caliber, especially Chef Greg, to taste something that no one should taste. So disappointed to actually bring this forward because it's not something I would actually feed to my dog. So quite disappointed. That's not very encouraging. say I'm not tasting like a lot of aromatics. I'm not tasting like the gingers and the garlics. And despite the broth, those flavors aren't here. Yeah. And Mohammed, admittedly, you even said yourself panic set in. And I think when you're competing at MasterChef level, you have to have your head about you. If the machinery doesn't work, you're used to cooking in a pot, right? Of course. You've made chicken stock before on a pot, right? Listen. Things like that happen in real kitchens. Of course. Thank you for your feedback. Thank you, Mohammed. Thank you, Mohammed. Tasneem, I find it difficult that you didn't believe enough in yourself to know that was a beautifully nuanced broth. It did take me to the streets of Bangkok. It had all the textures, all the flavors. Thank you. Mohammed. Your time in the MasterChef South Africa kitchen 
has come to an end.